If the rains weren't bad enough, now cooler temperatures start to move in. Local 5's John Donwell tells us about this next big frustration for farmers. I've worked here at Ebert Enterprises for 22 years and I've never seen a growing season quite like this. Record rainfalls this year have led to hard harvesting conditions. Very frustrating, very hard to plan around the weather, um, especially when it's rain every other day. And the temperatures are making farmers race against the clock. If it's, it's actually a killing freeze, it will actually dry the corn plant down much quicker, thus resulting in a much shorter harvest window. Soggy soil and muddy fields mean more trucks are needed, so it's all hands on deck. We are not able to get the semis into the field to dump the dump carts into, so that poses a real problem. In fields like these, trucks can guzzle 10 to 15 gallons of gas an hour, and the only way to cut that down is to slow it down and show some patience. I always like to say, put yourself in our shoes we're working 14, 15 hour days. If cars can give us a little bit of space on the roadway, that goes a long way. Reporting in Algoma, John Dommel, Local 5 News. Hemp farmers are also working very long hours to harvest their plants. The frost this last week is not ideal for the plants. Families growing the crop have now called in their reinforcements, including people with a little farm experience, to simply help them get the hemp off the field. They are working to remove the most valuable part of the plant first. Many first-time hemp farmers say there is still quite a bit of a learning curve. This holds a lot of moisture in here, so there's a high potential of rot. So processing the plants as quickly as we can is the most important part. We didn't realize it would take up this much drying space for 30 acres, and we didn't realize our plants would get this big. Much of the hemp being grown is for CBD products. Some will be used for seed, and a handful of farmers are using it in their rations. Governor Tony Evers declared 2019 as the year of clean drinking water in Wisconsin. Full Circle Community Farm hosted a clean water celebration recently and invited the public out to see how they take care of their land. The farm raises cattle, pigs and hens. Full Circle uses rotational grazing and keeps the ground covered with plants or roots year round. It's just one way that they keep contaminants from moving through the soil. The Clean Water Action Council supported this event and that group says modern farms have really outpaced Wisconsin's outdated policies. Our legislation in terms of of dealing with waste removal on farms was designed back when a typical farmer had 30, 35 cows, and now we've got 10,000 cows. Wisconsin is set to receive nearly $62 million from the federal government to improve water and wastewater infrastructure throughout our state.